The Ford Airport is taking steps to reduce lines at the security gates. 24 Hour News A's Ann Schieber is live to tell us what's happening there tonight. Ann? Well, a couple things, Sue. One pretty simple, the other quite involved. The airport is hoping to reduce lines at the security gate, which may cost uh, maybe take maybe 30 minutes, maybe longer, and have caused some people to miss their flights. It is one of those things that can take the fun out of travel going through security and then waiting 30 minutes, maybe more, to get through it. Well, who likes to wait? Now that's about to change. Starting today, Continental is moving its four departing flights to Concourse B. That should help eliminate the backups at Concourse A, which became a problem after Delta began bringing in larger planes after its merger with Northwest. It's a response to the increased traffic demands that they see here in Grand Rapids that we've experienced over the last couple of years. And that adds to security lines. And that adds to the security lines. In addition, the airport is starting construction this week to build another security line at Concourse A. It is no simple matter. It requires extra equipment and staff by the Transportation Security Administration and the airport has to make structural changes. So by the middle of July, we hope to have our uh, work done and the TSA will have their equipment in. At least 45 flights leave the Ford Airport every day. With Continental's move, the departures will be split up almost evenly between the two concourses. The airport is also considering ways to streamline security even more. It is in the process of studying passenger traffic flow, and one possibility may be creating one security gate with multiple lines that would serve both concourses. Well, what it does, it, it gives the TSA an ability to staff up and down based upon demand. Right now, they're trying to do that over two physical locations. Check. You've seen that option at a lot of airports, but it's incredibly remote, according to airport officials, because it would cost millions of dollars, and the airport is in the process of trying to pay off three other big projects, including the most recent here, the parking ramp. We're live at the airport, Ann Schieber, 24-hour News 8.